In this video, we will go through how to assign taxonomy to the ASVs. So, after this video, you will know the methods how to assign taxonomy to the ASVs with the Data2 library in Chipster. What are the parameters options and what things to take into account and finally, what are the resulting output files. So, this tool is based on the assign taxonomy function of the Data2 library. And assign taxonomy function uses the naive Bayesian classifier method of Wang to assign taxonomy across multiple ranks. And you can find the link to the original publication from the video notes. But it compares the KMER profile of the query sequence against the reference sequences with assigned taxonomies and calculates bootstrapping confidence scores for the assignment. And the database tool in Chipster uses KMER size of 8 with 100 iterations. And there is a separate command for species level assignment, which is called assign species, which I will talk a bit more later on. So, as input, you need to give the ASV table, which was created earlier with the make an ASV table and remove Chimera's tool in Chipster. And in addition, you can give a reference file. So in Chipster, there is the newest Silva version installed. But if you want to use some other reference files, you can download it and bring that to Chipster. So for example, when doing ITS analysis, you should download the Unite reference files from the website and bring those to Chipster. So you can follow that link here down, which you will find from the video notes as well, to find out the Data2 supported reference files and instructions to create your own files. And it uses the Silva reference files if no other reference is given. So as parameter options, you can specify the minimum bootstrap confidence score to assign taxonomy to ASVs. And by default, it's set to 50, which is recommended for sequences shorter than 250 bases. But if your reads are longer, you should change it to 80%. And the bootstrap confidence score, for example 50%, means that at least half of the iterations should return the same assignment for each level. So if you change that to 80%, more iterations should return the same answer. And then you can set the second parameter here to be yes. If you want that the reverse complements of each sequence are tried for classification, and then the reverse complement is used if it's a better match to the reference sequences than the original sequence. And then there are also a few other parameter options, which I will go through next. So let's move to the species level assignment. So if you set the exact species level assignment to be true, so yes, it will run the add species function for species level assignment. So add species is a function based on 100% identity or exact string matching against a reference database to assign taxonomy to species level. And it assigns taxonomy to the species level if there is no ambiguity and all exact matches were to the same species. And the 100% identity matching is recommended for 16S Amplicon data. And you can follow this link to read a bit more about that. And once again, it uses silver reference files if, if those were used for assigned taxonomy as well. Otherwise, you need to give a separate own reference file for this step. So here on this slide, you can find a visualization of the algorithm. So on the left side, so here, is the assigned taxonomy function, which is used with the minimum bootstrapping confidence score of 50 to assign taxonomy from kingdom to genus level with the silver reference file. And it returns the taxonomy assignment or the taxonomy table. And then on the right side here, the silver reference files were used with 100% identity matching to assign taxonomy to the species level. And like you can see, 
the species level assignment doesn't find always a solution. But that's normally fine, so we can continue with that. And then finally, as output, you will get those two files. So the taxonomy table created with the tool is once again saved as RDA object, so the first one here. Then you will also get a visualization of the taxonomy table, which shows to which levels the each ASV was assigned to. So here once again, the name of the ASVs, so here down, are changed to strings. And the saved RDA object, so this one, contains the full DNA sequences. And if you select the combined taxonomy and the sequence table parameter to be yes, both of those tables are combined for visualization. So then, after the last taxonomy rank, there would, there would appear also the different samples and the information how many times each ASB was found from each sample.